Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. Uh, this time out we have two pieces of news, one is an interesting product announcement which I'll get to in a second, but the first is this, so obviously major disappointment from Funko Fair because we didn't get any new Avatar Funko Pops announced. The rumoured ones didn't actually get announced there, instead we just got some Funko Pop pins announced, but no new characters, so very disappointing. Um, then all of a sudden, Funko posted this. We're celebrating Avatar The Last Airbender all month long at Funko Hollywood. Um, and there you have this life-sized pop box featuring Aang and Momo. Um, so, okay, it's some sort of promotional event type thing. Does it mean anything? Like them doing sort of an Avatar event kind of after Funko Fair. Avatar was one of the sort of high profile why didn't you show this things? Maybe there's a chance for an announcement at some point uh, this month, but I don't really know. Uh, it's hard to speculate exactly because obviously this is like a Funko Hollywood thing. Is it an event necessarily? I don't really know. But you know, they're saying like Avatar X Funko and stuff like that. They're, they put up a hashtag about it and they're going all in like Avatar, Avatar, Avatar. Um, why would you just randomly do an avatar thing like this out of nowhere when like the avatar pops are like a year old basically at this point over that um again who knows but maybe i did it would be really cool if at some point maybe to coincide with this event they did the big announcement of the second wave because if in fact it is the case that like the the fancy you know big ang with all elements is going to be like the first pop of this sort of new special line pop supers you know a, an avatar event would make sense because you're you're launching a new line uh, with it and it's clear that people really like avatar and want new pops and that look a lot of the comments are kind of just like um you know where the new pops and stuff like that more making new, more new funko pops and so on you know that that's that's what we're talking about here the other piece of news is this kind of came into nowhere so magpie games we are excited to announce we have signed a deal with viacom cbs to create a role-playing game based on avatar the last airbender and legend of korra the game will arrive in february 2022 followed by two supplements the following year and they link to an article they have now straight away you'll probably notice like in the comments on this a lot of people are like you know uh very confused about this because um a lot of people thinking that this is like a video game announcement um, and the amount of people have to be kind of clarified that like it's a role-playing like board game type thing it's not a video game so uh, that's the the first thing to say but let's go into the article here you can see here um Magpie games ink deal with uh viacom cbs uh, consumer products for role-playing game based on avatar the lost airbender and legend of korra multi-year licensing agreement set in the avatar universe um you know the stuff from the ceo here is pretty just like you know marketing um speak there's not a lot of detail to it you know brave benders friendships tabletop games um opportunity to work with designers um authentic diverse spirit of the show you know, n not really saying a lot about the game itself, of course. There's just a lot of stock art here, of course. Nothing new. Um, so it really is just an announcement of something that is going to happen in the future. Um, so there's not really a lot to say about the details that they've given here. They believe they're the ideal partner. Uh, okay, sure. Um, and yeah, just, you know, we hope to make an exceptional product. Uh, there is some detail right here towards the end, I think. Um, um, yeah. This time, as the heroes of the story, so the, the players you're going to be making your own character in this game, uh, will make characters using playbooks, templates to help the players build and uh, play compelling protagonists in the Avatar and La uh, Legend of Korra world. Again, it's so awkward that just to say the world of Avatar, the universe of Avatar The Last Airbender, that you have to say both of them. That the franchise doesn't have a name and that's so like awkward that i suppose marketing legal wise they can't really just say the avatar universe because of the james cameron movies and you, you see that awkwardness here in that to talk about this franchise and that you're doing something general said in the franchise it has to be 
one or the other. It has to be a Legend of Korra thing, or it has to be a Avatar The Last Airbender thing. Or if you're just doing general, it has to be both. And that's just really weird. Um, they need to figure that out. Uh, and especially if like we potentially do get a third series down the line, like hopefully that will be the thing where they finally clarify some sort of a, you know, naming scheme for the universe. Again, I think it's just awkward because everyone's always going to refer to it as Avatar. But um, you know, anyway, together they might protect local merchants from the triple threat triad from Public City, travel through a spirit portal to rescue a child taken into the spirit world, negotiate peace between feuding communities within the Earth Kingdom, or pursue mysteries and villains that arise throughout their adventures. So here's what they're actually going to be making. The role-playing game's core book is slated for a February 2022 release with two supplements to follow in August 2022 and February 2023 titled Republic City and the Spirit World respectively. So um, I'm guessing that means that the core book is going to be Avatar The Last Airbender and then they're going to do sort of Korra in the two supplement things and that Republic City scenarios are going to be Republic City and then I'd say the majority of Spirit World stuff would have to be during the Chorus time period, just because the Spirit Portals are the thing that allow immediate access to the Spirit Portal. Uh, otherwise, I suppose you need your character to be like incredibly spiritual, which you can't just say every character is. So Spirit Portals are a requirement there. So yeah, not a lot of detail here outside of, you know, a little bit towards the end of it, sort of type of scenarios that they're going to be doing how it's going to work i think they mentioned that like they're using a very specific you know role-playing game rulebook system that uh, other games use so um people in the know can like obviously say what um <laughs> what that means for this uh this game uh, me personally like the these type of games have never really been something i've been particularly into but because this is avatar and Korra. I, I do have an interest in, in it, mainly because just this is going to have to be a book that has quite a good amount of detail about Avatar and Korra in it. And I'm very interested to see if there is anything new in here and how consistent the way they do the mechanics of the game is, I suppose, with how the universe actually works. Because they talk about like all the different designers they're bringing in and so on. But there's no real talk about like working with anyone who was like a part of the show to help the game be consistent with the universe and the shows. Obviously, everyone who, you know, likes Avatar, Avatar tends to be one of those properties where like if you're working on a licensing thing for them, it's like, yeah, I like Avatar, so I'm going to put in the time and effort to make it good. There is a difference, though, I think just between, you know, happen to like the show but are there a game designer versus you know one of the writers from the show who can be that sort of repository of information so that's one of those interesting things of like the licensing stuff with uh, Viacom has been a little bit kind of mixed I suppose you'd say and that some of the books that come out just feel like yeah this is kind of just a tie-in thing this is just to make some money this is not really anything substantial there's not a lot of effort going into this from the sort of viacom nick side of things to support this project and it's mainly all on their side of things but you know it, it, I, I have confidence just because like this is basically saying there's going to be three i guess reasonably big books covering information about avatar and they're going to have to i suppose include place names in this uh, details about how to make your character which that could just be fun in general of like here is just a system for making an avatar character in terms of like how did they do it like is every character a bender or can you be a non-bender and you know, how does that all work you know pretty cool um but obviously stuff like this is always a little bit disappointing when it's just like literally the announcement is this that's the announcement right there it's just these books are what we're making they're coming out at this time and our company makes this type of games so apply that to avatar and you have an idea of what we're doing here there's a lot of like text in this article without really saying a lot uh, i like the like you know they give some examples i suppose of what you might be doing which just seems pretty cool it's just like you know 
a spirit scenario where you have to rescue a child. That's the sort of stuff that I actually like wouldn't mind seeing in like the comics of like in a new core comic if they would ever actually make and announce the new one. Um something like this of just dealing with, you know, what if just random people go into the spirit world and, and kind of get lost? Uh, not like get taken in there with that they go in there and they get lost in sort of a similar way to um, you know when Korra and Jinora went in there uh, but you have people now experienced with the spirit world needing to get them out that's kind of cool and interesting to see how they do spirits and stuff like that but yeah um, they're my thoughts on this in the comments let me know what your thoughts are what do you think there the, is going on with this Funko thing do you think it's just some sort of a marketing thing or will they actually will this actually lead to an announcement? And then um yeah, Magpie Games are gonna be making a role playing game for Avatar and it's gonna be, I guess, three books, core book and a Republic City book and a Spirit World book. So what are your thoughts on all of this? But yeah, that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.